The Institute of Industrial Science is located on the Komaba campus of the University of Tokyo. Since 1995, this institute has been hosting a French-Japanese laboratory, LIMS, the Laboratory for Integrated Micro-Mechatronic Systems. MEMS, Microelectromechanical Systems, is a very, very small mechanical structure. It moves by, let's say, electrostatic force, and it can reflect light to make some projection display. Or in your smartphone or a car, you have a lot of sensors. And this is made of MEMS, because sensor needs microstructure to uh, detect the motion. LIMS was created by Professor Jean-Jacques Gagnopin from the CNRS and Professor Fumio Harashima from the Institute of Industrial Science of the University of Tokyo. They overcame administrative and cultural barriers to the project and created the first international joint unit of the CNRS in Asia. Professor Gagnopin brought out the importance of microsystems and the location of laboratories abroad in order to expose French researchers to global scientific excellence. The, uh, our French-Japanese collaboration started 1993 when the Dr. Uh, Jean-Jacques Ganipan from CNRS uh, sent and uh, led delegation from France to see the uh, microelectromechanical system re research and the collaborators in Japan. My believing is that if you stay in your office for quite a very, very long time in the same lo location, how to be creative in research? Why this morning on this day you will be more creative than the day before and the day after? Mm. To be innovative, it's nice to be in kind of disequilibrium. And so to come here, change of culture and so on, is very stimulated. And in this stimulation, I think it's nice to be creative. So the interest to work in an international laboratory comes from the fact we can benefit from both systems, mainly in our case the French system and the Japanese system. And we can enrich our research by welcoming many research from several labs uh, including uh, European lab and Japanese lab. And because of that, the emulation and uh, scientific stimulation is very important when compared to French lab. French, in France, we are thematic. So in the lab for engineering, we make engineering. Okay, that means so we make uh, technology, devices, and so we, we make some sensor, and we are in the dry environment. Okay. If you want to make key chemistry or bio key chemistry, so you need to be in a laboratory for key chemistry. If you want to make the bio, laboratory for bio. But here in, in, in this institute, and the Lims Canuary have a very big profit of that, is that so we can range really from nanotechnology to use the pure engineering for MEMS and go to bio key chemistry to make surface engineering and to, to make the bioassay. A multinational team naturally opens up our minds to be open, to be free, to be, to be uh, enthusiastic, to be helpful. The LIMS's ambition to broaden its scope internationally has never been lost. In 2012, the Yujo LIMS project, Europe-Japan opening of LIMS, was born. It is the first laboratory of the European Union in Japan. European researchers come here with their own project. They benefit from the technological advances in development and production of micro and nano systems, as well as tools available to them, such as electronic microscopes or clean rooms. The development of nanoscale vehicles to deliver drugs or the organization of neural networks are two examples among many of research conducted here. This European opening could not exist without the excellence in research undertaken by LIMS in the past two decades. 
LIMS runs innovative and multidisciplinary projects applied to micro-robotics, micro-optics, bioengineering, and molecular engineering, among other topics. This research is best reflected in the example of work conducted for the past 10 years on the silicon nanotweezer. So here we fabricate a silicon nanotweezer that is about 6 mm by 7 mm in size. And uh, it's made by uh, using MEMS technology, starting from a SOI wafer. And uh, on this uh, silicon nanotweezer, we have about uh, 2,000 electrostatic actuators that are very small, like 2 micron in size. We have also a capacitive sensor that is uh, designed on this uh, device. And uh, we have two different kinds of tips. Uh, one is called the sharp tips. It's used to trap DNA by uh, liquid dielectrophoresis. And the other design is a flat tip that is used mainly to trap cells and manipulate cells. The first tests using nanotweezers are taking place in a new platform at the University of Tokyo located in Lille at the Oscar Lambre Center for Research Against Cancer. Thanks to the creation of this mirror site called Smile E, research led in Japan opens directly to biomedical applications. Le futur du site miroir c'est de garder la capacité d'interaction avec nos collègues japonais avec tout leur développement technologique très fondamentaux qui sont passionnants, que nous n'avons pas prétention à mettre en œuvre sur le site de Lille. Nous aurons des transferts de technologie, mais qui seront des transferts vraiment adaptés à notre champ, qui est celui de la recherche médicale, dans un premier temps essentiellement autour de la cancérologie, mais qui peut également s'élargir à d'autres champs, la diabétologie, voire les neurosciences. Le, le, le périmètre n'est pas totalement restreint. Nous avons essayé pour être efficace de d'abord le restreindre à un champ qu'on connaît bien, dans le cadre d'une stratégie qui s'appelle Oncolil, qui est l'un des sites de recherche labellisés par l'Institut national du cancer en France, autour de la cancérologie, deux grandes thématiques, résistance et dormance. Et dans ce cadre que je coordonne, dont je suis le directeur, mettre en œuvre ces biomèmes, mettre en œuvre le site miroir pour apporter ce saut technologique pour le bénéfice de nos patients. The first goal is to check the DNA's resistance after irradiation. The nano tweezer is the ideal tool. Silicon nano tweezers is very nice because it can select from a population of cells, it can detect if a cell are cancer cell or not, because cancer cells are softer, bigger, and if you de de deform, they don't want to move back. And so this micro-mechanical me me tools is really perfect to do it. Du moins, les, les ruptures de, de l'ADN, euh, donc qui se traduisent par une baisse de la fréquence de résonance à chaque fois que l'on a ici un cycle d'irradiation. The nano tweezer is becoming a unique tool in the biomedical world for its capabilities in handling and characterizing molecules and cells. This research has just given rise to a startup whose goal is to get a new generation of biophysical sensors on the market. From LIMS to Smile E, from Japan to France, the travel of the nano tweezer looks highly promising and establishes the fact that the idea of Professor Gagnepin to create an international laboratory a little more than 20 years ago was indeed a choice for the future. Mm -hmm.